Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and we are gonna do some cash condensing here. Um, so I have, you know, my big envelopes filled up, and then I have down, I'm sorry, my, I have a lot of my little envelopes filled up, but I wanna start filling up some of my bigger envelopes. So I think I'm gonna do is condense some of this and put them in larger envelopes, if that makes sense. And I'll show you. And then we'll stuff the monies that I have for this stuffing, which is in here. But for right now, I want to take some of these out. Right, I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna leave the big ones in here because those are the hardest to fill, right? Your big ones. Uh, so, I'm, I'm spilling here, kids. We're going to keep the 100 down to 93, right? We're going to keep those, and we're going to put this up here. And then I'm going to say... What do we got up here? Some of these bigger ones I want to keep filled. Um, well, let me find them. Definitely want 51, 60, 74, 76, 79, 80. Uh, we definitely want all those full. This is two, three, four, somewhere's a one. Well, that's a six. Oops, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna empty out these smaller ones for sure. Because they're gonna be easier to fill coming down the line. So we have one, two, three, and these all have a little extra in them, which is fine. And I did want to say that um, a lot of this cash came from last year, right? I have been doing collecting cash for some time now. That, so a lot of this came from last year. So seven, eight, definitely nine and 10. So these I'll be able to fill, obviously, like I said, easier. Um, let's do up to number 20. 11, 12, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20, okay? So we're going to sort this in a second. But I want us to come over here and say, we're gonna leave, should we leave this row? Let's. Let's take those out. So we're gonna leave 33, 35, I'll color them in later, 40, 50, 51, 60, 74, 76, 79, 80, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. So we're keeping those. And we're going to pull everything up to number 30. Right? And these, 33, 35, 40, and 50. Okay. I hope... 
what's in here. I hope this is making sense to you. It will if it doesn't right now, but I want to leave these smaller denominations. So, because I don't have big dollars for my little side hustles. Okay, so we're gonna start with 92. So we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 192. Put that right there. And then I'll mark this. I'll color these in, like I said. I'm just filling in the little center heart. And that's the other thing. If you don't only have enough to fill a little bit of the envelope, just color in part of the envelope. All right, 91. So two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, nine, one. And 91. Okay. And we'll do 90. I should have enough to do 90. Two, four, six, eight. Oops. Nine. And we're going to put an extra 10 in there. Just because I can. It's like an Easter egg. We'll leave it for myself. All right. And then I said we're going to do 90. 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Wait a minute. That's 89. 89. Yep, I already did 90. All right, so 89, whatever's in there is in there. And. So, yes, it looks like I have less, but I don't. All right, 88, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then I'm going to put eight ones, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 90. I just like the idea of when I go in there at the end of the year, there'll be a little surprise. All right, um, 88, perfect. 87, do we have enough? 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. So we don't have enough for that one, but we have 55. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We'll do 49 with this one. And I have some more cash. This is just what I'm restuffing. Okay. So 30, 50, 49. Okay. 
10, 20, no, <laughs> 5, 10, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 dollars left. Now we're gonna take out this money. Did I earn this week? This is my cash for the month of March. Some of this was from some side hustles. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we'll do 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. And two is 97, two, four, six, eight, 10, two, four, six, eight, 10. So we're adding 297 today. And cut, back to the high ones. So we should do 88, right? Oops, we did 88. Did I do 88? Y'all, I'm a disaster. Yep, I did 88. We're gonna do 87. I just really wanna get all these big ones filled. You know what I'm saying? So two, four, six, eight, five, and we'll just throw five in. One, two, three, four, five, okay. So it's just a couple extra $1 bills. Eighty-seven. I did get a question on where I got this box. I made these. With just stuff I had around my house. All right, and let's see, 86. Two, four, six, 80. Five. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And I may leave some of these ones um, for the next time. Just so, so I have change to make the smaller denominations. Okay, 86. And of course you can do this however you so like to do it. Um, this is just how I'm choosing to do it because I like, I, it was making me anxious to see all these hundreds up here. So did I do 86? Now, I don't think I have enough to do 85, so we're going to move down to maybe 80. Do I have enough to do 80? Or 78. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? Two, forty, five, fifty-five, sixty-five, seventy-five, eighty. Yes. So we're gonna do seventy-eight. There we go. All right. 78. And then we have left 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we're going to do 48. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and a couple to grow on. So I think I will leave these $1 bills in here for now, and I do need to take my change out. I didn't spend a lot of cash this week, um, and so 
I don't have a lot of change. And I don't usually spend a lot of cash. Sometimes I just go to the bank and withdraw what I'm going to put in my savings. So I figured I'll leave the ones in here. And that way, if I need to make some smaller change, we can do that. Now, I will fast forward us so I can color all this in. Okay, so I'll show you the difference and why it's such a mind game for me. Let's put the money away. I have less, full, I have less envelopes, right? I have more over here, but I have $300 more than I had last week. Ooh. So let's look at it. What I just, I have done is I've moved all this little monies up here and I filled in the higher denominations. And to me, it's less daunting to fill these $20, you know, I can fill two of these rows in one week where I can only fill two blocks up here. So to me, it's worth it to fill the little ones and then move them up. And that then I don't feel so overwhelmed. It's all in your perspective. Oh, sorry. It's all in your perspective on how you want to look at the envelopes. But for me, 10, you know, this hundred dollars was able to fill in, or these two rows were almost able to fill in two of these and a couple in this row. So that's just how I look at it. Definitely your own perspective on how you wanna look at it. I will keep this and this together. And I also printed a few, a few extra of this one so that if I decide to do it again and fill up down here and then pull it all up, I can do that. It's my challenge and that's the beauty. There's no rush, there's no race, there's no right way to do it or wrong way to do it. If you have to take this envelope here and split it up into five times you're going to fill that envelope because you have five little spots, then do that. Or save it all in an envelope like I do till the end of the month and what you have is what you have to work with. But I was running out of the ability to work up here. So this just makes it easier for me as well. Oh, I can't wait to get this row. That's my next row that I would like to get completed or this one, but this one is next these two and then I'll feel really good to have the top three done <gasps> and then work my way down all right guys well I hope that helped and that helps you get motivated as well definitely get your hundred envelope challenge on because it's a lot of fun and it's going to be so rewarding when I finish the end of this and have money for something that I want to do but I'm not taking it out of my daily living expenses. This is all side hustle for me. All right, guys, have a good one. I'll talk with you later. Bye.